I hate this. Ah, oh, first another annoying point in the fucking language. We has an issue with the, well, I think it's a kind of a suffix, run. This is why all capitals fucking stupid are I N. That's not an I, it's an U. Run. I had to note this. As a unique signature in my voice. Comes from here, run! But what happens in my mouth? I've got a vortex, so there's a bit of a Owen at the end of it. Rowan. It's like a twister in my mouth. That's the structure of my mouth doing that. And I think it's connected to this non roddy car issue. What's that? What's that? Yes, yeah, the Bogener! It's caused by. The Boanja art is called a bogan. That's what a bogan is. It's a strangulator. A bogan is a boan. It's a, it's a strangulator. So that's when we can't articulate the R properly. Bridging to the Kazakh. Ooh. Kazakh. Ooh. Ooh. What? Letter makes the ooh sound. Scares me. Kind of a bit it's that fucking Y shape. That Y shape. Apparently, this Y is a O similar to U W, where it's functioning as both a vowel or a consonant. And yes, similar is happening in my mouth. So I'm just having a need to take note where the Kazakh doesn't need to. Uh, write this uh, U there, that's just represented by the W as a O sound anyway. So I have to do similar, that's why I'm opting for the W with two dots to indicate it's coming from a U direction, not O. Um, as well, it's a W with two dots. At this stage, I don't know if I spell it uh, as R for now, I've just been doing the U, but in future I might need to just do it like that. So it was important to just document this O and thing that's happening between the runes, like as a previous video with the suffix done, then insanity, the same thing's happening where this rune. The consonants on either side of it are shaping that vowel sound in the middle. So this run, I have to register all of that as a... Uh, I don't know what to call that. It's like a sound unit of its own. So I don't know if that makes it a letter or a vowel. It's uh, just for now, just classifying this run as a very important signature of here at Wombastan and there's a need for me to uh, just signify this uh, Owen, Owen, the woo 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 noise. I'm not consciously creating any kind of W shape in my mouth, it's just coming out that way so it's like a vortex. Let's see if I can draw that. Uh, so it's a vortex where let's say I've got a, a fireplace, right? And that fireplace has a has a ledge, has these ledges, right? And the fire's going woo like that. Uh, the the flame goes up here, and it'll make a little vortex. It'll make the the flow swirl. That's what's happening with the with this urn. Where I'm saying run, I'm I'm shooting for the the run. Sorry, no dot. I'm shooting for run. But this urn is intrusive and it's happening unconsciously. Um, I'm hearing it, I'm detecting it, and this is where part of that Scottish tone's coming from. Scottish escha tone is coming through the urn. No, and I think that's primarily being driven by the letter R, very much connected to R. Ugh. Sometimes it's the suffix just standing in isolation as a R, uh, but uh, also with the N, it happens with the N.
Leaving it there for now is an important note for me. Yeah, yeah,